Hey everybody and welcome back to Terraria. When we last left off we beat the Queen Bee a bunch of times and we uh, got our freaking mountain stuff and it was amazing. Anyway, the reason I'm uh, back again recording on the exact same day is because I went back to our main world and I did some things, namely I reforged our bee's knees to Unreal, which I believe is the best for bows, it's Unreal. Uh, plus 15% damage, plus 9% speed, plus 5% critical strike chance, plus 10% velocity, plus 15% knockback. 32 ranged damage right now on this thing. Uh, of course we're using Jester's arrows because we don't have any wooden arrows equipped. Oh, beautiful. Anyway... Uh, I was planning today to create some demonite armor and then go defeat the Brain of Cthulhu to get enough stuff to make Crimtain armor. And then it occurred to me, why do I want to make this crap stuff? Why not just go straight to hell where we've already been? We've already been all the way down there, look. Why not go get some hellstone and just make the molten armor, the best pre-hard mode armor there is? So that's what we're going to do today. But also, because I forgot how to make demonite armor, I was talking to Guide, and I put like the scales in his inventory and stuff. And then I was like, you know what, I can, I'm going to look what else, what other stuff I can do. So I started putting random bits and bobs in his inventory. And then I was like, you know what, can I craft wooden arrows? So I put some wooden arrows into his inventory. And I can make something using wooden arrows. And I don't know if this is how it works, but judging by its name, I think it might give me infinite ammo. And I'm assuming it's only going to be the equivalent of, like, a wooden arrow's damage, or maybe half of the damage of a wooden arrow, since it's infinite. But for the low, low cost of 3,996 wooden arrows, I can make an infinite quiver. So I brought all the arrows that I had in my other world, which is 3,500 something. 57. Get out my inventory. Uh, but I believe we can buy them from Merchant, right? So, shop. Shop. N yeah, right, we can buy. So if I just buy up another like 400 and something arrows, 436 arrows, or 439, oh, that's way too many, whatever. If I oh, that's not too many. Stupid. There we go. Can I now craft up... Well, I should be able to craft up that thing. But is that going to provide me with infinite ammo? That is the question that I have today. And that is the question I want to have solved. So I stand here. Do I not have the right piece of equipment to do it? Do I not have enough? Hmm, I need a guide. Wooden arrow, wooden arrow, wooden arrow. 3,000, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Yeah, that's 3,996 right there. Oh, do I need a special kind of table to do it? I really... Mm, what do I need? I don't have a guide in this world. Right, I'm going to have to go back to my old world. Turn off the minimap and like super zoom in the characters while I talk. And figure out what it is I want to do. Right, I'll be back in a second. Right, we are back. I've been back to my main world and checked, and it seems we need a crystal ball to craft it, which is something we don't have. And I believe we buy it from the wizard, and I believe the wizard is a hard mode dude. Where did my arrows go? I believe I may have thrown my arrows on the floor while asking Guide about them. Whatever, it's only like 500. Right, if I bring 999 arrows with me, that's 999 B shots I get. That'll be fine, I guess. Alright, up, across, get the pig out, put our money away. I brought some obsidian, but I believe we need more. I've got obsidian skin potion, and I brought with me a lava charm for when we get down there. Also, someone left me a comment, I apologise, I've forgotten your name, um, saying that the King Slime's Expert Mode item is fantastic in the Underworld because it stops the Lava Slimes from aggroing on you, obviously. And the Lava Slimes, when killed, drop lava everywhere. So that's actually going to be very useful. 
very, very useful indeed. Oh boy, All right, let's go through this. What are we doing here? Go away, Tomb Prospector. This isn't Bloodborne. Right. <laughs> Something about that lava slime just uh, not lava slime, that ant line just dropping out of the sky amused me then. Also, I haven't even looked how I get down to the underworld. I've just started dropping down here because this seems like the most obvious place to begin. Uh, actually, yeah, it's very, very simple. It's just straight down. I have my horseshoe on. Okay. So I don't need to bother equipping the... How do I get out of here? Let's go this way. I'm not going to bother equipping a lava thing until we get down there. Because it means removing something from our inventory. And I don't want to right now. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Hit. Boom, boom. I want to be. Oh, we can get some obsidian here, can't we? It's not going to be a lot, but we can get some. Also, I don't have the um, slime thing equipped right now. I can hear a duck. Is that honey? Yeah, crispy honey block. That's probably going to do it. Do we have any more water? Oh, we have tons. We can get tons of obsidian up here. Okay. Well, let's grab this obsidian because I know we need... If I remember rightly... You need about 180 obsidian and 500-ish hellstone blocks, which is going to be difficult to calculate because we pick up in hellstone ores, not hellstone blocks. Although, am I might... I'm, no, I think I'm wrong. I think 500 hellstone blocks was hellstone ingots, whatever they're called. I believe that was to make everything possible out of... Hellstone. And we don't need everything up possible. We just need the um, the armor, don't we? We don't need the pickaxe and the sword or whatever else you get. How much obsidian do I have? 212. That is more than enough. Let's go. Get out of here, you. I'll fight all of you. I'll fight all of you. Oh! Not enough to go into the lava, though. Not enough to go into the lava. What is this? Hey. Absolutely nothing, and it looked really suspicious. Quite possibly one of the most suspicious looking things I've ever seen. Oh. Right, I believe it's about the time we should equip that lava charm. Ah. We're not going to need our beep. Be backpack. Be backpack. So lava charm doesn't protect us from being on fire. So hellstone all. So I'm doing 27, 29 with my sword. That is 64 instantly. Holy crap, this is so good. So why is my things do oh it's in um It's in that mode where it shows because it's vanity. Lava slime should not bother me. Excellent. It's mine. It's hellstone. All right, let's get out of the stuff. Let our uh, thing regen. That'll do. I'm saving the obsidian skin potion for if we were to say accidentally fall into lava. Quickly drink the skin potion. Get the heck out there. Oh, why is mining this stuff have to be so freaking hulkwed? Right, luckily, it doesn't die in lava, so we can mine like this. I think what I'm going to do is start looking for large pockets of it. Like this. Also, but I believe when you mine hellstone, it releases lava as well. Yeah. I'm so lucky we got this lava charm. And I'm annoyed that I got it off camera. Oh no! Right. Hang on. Pew! Got my bees! Got my bees! Excellent. 
We nearly died. I need to pay attention. But yeah, I, I want to get the molten armor and just skip. Is that a freaking sword? No, it's a dead guy. Um, skip the demonite and stuff. And we'll probably go back and create them at some point. But it just means like right now, they're not that important to us. Huh. Oh, wait, it's not auto fire. I can fire them pretty quick. What is that? Oh, it's a lava slime with a pot on top of its head. I thought it was a um, a weird looking bound person with like a weird hat on them. Alright, let's go down here. Plenty of hellstone down here. Just gotta keep an eye on our health is all. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Literally said we need to keep an eye on our health. You know what would be cool? A portable banner holder. You know like how the samurai used to have going to battle with um, the flag on their back? Something like that. That lets you put a banner or two. Um, equipped. So that you can have like a permanent buff against one or two enemies maybe. I think that would be nifty. Anyway, give me this. We're also going to mine up a ton of ash bikes. And... So how much do I think we're going to need? Well. Well. Also, I just realized I said 500 hellstone bars, which is not true. That's way too many. It'd be 500 hellstone. Um, so how much is that? How much do we have? 100 on the nose. I don't think that's going to be enough. Let's assume 5 pieces of hellstone per ingot. That's 20 ingots. Now let's assume we need 20 ingots for the pants, 20 for the helmet, 20 for the body piece. So we would need 300 plus hellstone ore. So this might be a couple of videos, actually, of um, getting... Like, we might be able to get the majority today, but I don't think we'll get all of it. I really miss my shield. The fact that I can use it to dash and go straight into um, my running speed, my sprinting speed. I never realized just how much I love that. Or maybe I did, I don't know. I'm going to die in here already. Yep. I need, I need to put my shield back on. It allows me to dash into them to cause damage and get invincibility. And it also increases my speed to maneuver through this place. But yeah, I think... We're going to get the majority of stuff today. And then get the rest of it tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, but here is the dealio McDealio. I don't remember what the set bonus is for the Molten Armor. Like, I know the... Actually, I don't know. I might be making this up. I, I thought the set bonus for the um, Crimtain Armor was the health regen. And I think the, the bonus for the Shadow Armor is... What am I doing in my life? I think the bonus for the Shadow Armor is some kind of like after image effect on your character. But what is the... Molten armor. Is it just a defense boost? If it is, I'm happy with it. That's what I want. At this point, I just want to get as much defense as possible. So we can survive longer in the boss fights. Because I feel good with our damage. If I would ideally like to see some um, ranged bonuses. 
But as far as I can recall, the only armor that has a range bonus that I can even get is pretty hard mode. Is the um blah, 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 necro armor, which is cobwebs and bones, I think. Now I don't remember how much of bonus it, it range bonus it is, but I just remember it being a range bonus. However, in order to do that, we have to be able to go to the dungeon to fight skeletons to get bones. So we have to at least defeat Skeletron just to get that. So it's... There's a lost scale there! Okay, this is fine. Why are these exploding? Bye. Why am I... Oh, I've got Hellfire arrows and it's shooting those first as a priority. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Alright, that should be our last one. Nope. There's the bees. There's the bees. Right, sword for everything, unless it's a boss. Then we use... Look at that slime. Why do they keep spawning inside walls? Is something up with the... Um... Spawning conditions? Right, okay, first of all, equip that. Now we're good again. Let us... Mine some stuff. That's fine, alright, get out of it. Get out of it! Get out of it! Woohoo! I'm confused. Oh, I've got Feral Bite! Okay. That debuff, I remember it. Ooh, Fire Blossom, I'll take it. Also, there's a large amount of um, stuff here. Yeah, so if we didn't have our Obsidian Horseshoe, by the way, we would be taking damage just from touching Hellstone before we even mine it. That scared the crap on me. I thought it was a Wyvern. And I was like, why is there a Wyvern down here? Huh? <laughs> Okay, this is fine. This is fine. It's actually actually really fine. Because I can do this. <laughs> okay, one... Final trip into the Dark Abyss to try and get some stuff. How much do we have? We have 140. We've got 100 on our first trip and 40 on two subsequent trips. Oh, look at this. We have infinite ammo, and I'm not going to feel bad about just spamming it constantly. I don't really have to aim it that much. It's just, you know, that aiming on a console is much, much, much more difficult than it is on mouse and keyboard. Using a controller to try and aim is... is very difficult, at least for me. I'm really bad at aiming with a controller. If it's mouse and keyboard, you just put your mouse where you want to shoot and you're done. But on console, oh no, 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 no. You got this stupid reticule that's really difficult to aim with. Give me that honey buff. We can get down there. Right, I'll see how much... No, I can't. I need to go to an anvil. As long as... I was going to say, I will see how much... Um... Armor we can make with our current amount, but it's gonna require an actually do we have I think we have an anvil in this world. Maybe we can do it here. Right, equip this. 
Now is the time for us to acquire acquire a great amount of hellstone. Also, once we um do this, we can check out dyes to see how they look with our current situation. How new armor? I don't need to fight demons. Let's go. Right, there's some here. Look. Rather large portion as well. So our biggest problem is A that I forget to look how much lava health we have on our lava thing. And B other enemies that decide to cause trouble for us. Get out of it. I like there is a lot do I just pop a Screw it. We're doing it. I've popped my obsidian skin potion. We're going in. We're going to put our night vision helmet on. Which actually hasn't helped. But one obsidian skill skin potion should be enough. Honestly, one should be enough. It's four minutes, I believe. And we can probably grab enough from three of these things. Like if I drop down into three sections and mine up what I can get. You now the deep down stuff, that will leave the surface hellstone easy to grab for future visits. Should I need future visits? We might as well grab the deepest, darkest stuff with the immunity we have. That makes the most sense to me. Right, 234. I don't think we need 500. Because that, that includes like the pickaxe and maybe a hammer and some weapons or some stuff. I don't know. But if I get us like 400... Actually, I said 300 should be enough, didn't I? If I worked it out correctly. For just over 300. I cannot get up here. There we go. So maybe if we aim for like 350 to 400, we can actually get the Molten Armor right now. And maybe even get the Pickaxe too. Because I think someone said that while this Pickaxe is as good as a Cobalt Pickaxe, I think, it's actually much slower, which is something I'm noticing. It's just got the power to mine up the good stuff. So having the speed of a Molten Pickaxe for mining is good. Because it's only one step below what we're currently using. So if I make a Molten Pickaxe, use that. It's going to help me greatly with a lot of stuff, such as my Let's Builds and things. Mining up any mistakes I made. Also general mining. It will help with. And then when we need to mine something specifically that requires the um, thing we can, which actually should only be Oricalcum slash Mithril, right? Because we need the Molten to get Cobalt, but this is as good as, the one we've got now is as good as Cobalt, therefore, we can skip the Cobalt and go straight to Mithril slash Oricalcum, depending on what we get. Hmm... Alright, these guys shooting me are causing me a right headache. 363 should be enough. Let's grab up what we can. We've got less than a minute here. I do have my magic mirror on quick select. Good. I'm going to go deep. Oh, there's some up here. I'm going to try to escape at the very last second. A goblin army is approaching! That's actually the third or fourth one in this world. So it looks like I'm going to have to fight goblin army. Should I do it on camera? Nah, probably not. I'll do it off camera. You guys have seen goblin armies before. I'm basically just... Oh, actually, it would be a good excuse to test out my bow and arrow. Maybe I will do that. Alright, I've got ten seconds. Quickly grab what I can. Takes a few seconds to warp away. Hello. 
Okay, cool. Right, we got 441. Right, go away, goblin. Go away, goblin sorcerer. Go away, goblin warriors. Right. Get out of here. I'm using health fire arrows. Whatever, just get out. Get out. Put those... <gasps> Did we get super lucky and get the demon scythe? Holy... I didn't even notice this. I didn't even know she got the demon scythe. Right, we might even be re retiring the bee's knees. <laughs> the demon scythe is such a good magical item. I mean, look at this. Hang on. And because it persists inside the enemy, they can walk into it and take constant damage. The only downside is it's kind of mana intensive. If we make some, like, mana-specific armor, we're good. And look, we can shred them. And we've got our bees as backup. Let's put them. A bit more defense there. So I can keep shooting these out as to make bees. Like, right them out and be like, pew, pow, 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 pow. Eat my bees, eat my bees. And then we can be all uh, magical. Because it fires on a, because it spins on the spot and then fires out on um, on a straight line. If you, if I had like an arena, like a straight arena for this, with them all walking in, I could just, um, I don't know, forget up your look. Just aim left and right, and they would fire out left and right, and just obliterate everyone. This is... I can't believe we got the Demon Scythe. I really can't believe we got the Demon Scythe. We've got a good selection of weaponry on us right now. We've got a really good melee, we've got a really good ranged, and we've got a really good magic. We had, when I wanted to get the Demon Scythe, I had to farm for this for so long. And now I get it without even realising. I wonder when it dropped. Don't you guys start accusing me of cheating. Because I didn't even realise I had it. Hey, right, 100th Goblin Warrior. Yeah, that's how many freaking Goblin armies about to fight in this place. This video is actually... Hey, and the 50th Goblin Thief. At least we're getting some banners that we can start sticking on main world. Look at that. So in... Uh, oh, crap. In try 1.3, I actually used the Demon Scythe, I believe, in order to kill the destroyer using only pre-hard mode gear. Now admittedly this is expert mode. But that just means we can use um hard mode gear with the demon scythe. Cause I imagine it's gonna take us a little while to find something better than the demon scythe in once we hit hard mode. Look at this. Sure, I'm taking a lot of damage, but I'm just sort of messing around. I'm not taking it all that seriously. Just testing out the weapons and stuff. I love the fact that they have to walk into it and then it knocks them away. 50th Goblin Sorcerer! But this B weapon look is fantastic. Look at all these goblin archers hanging around up here. I missed them with all my magic shots because I'm terrible though. Get out of here. I love the bees. It's so good. If only I had a crystal ball. So that gives me um, reason to try and get into hard mode ASAP, I guess. Get that crystal ball so we can make... Although if I do that, then... 
And that means I'm in hard mode, which means I don't really care about having this stuff, because I'll be getting better hard mode weapons. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it'll be good into hard mode. I don't think it's going to be very good against the, um, the destroyer. But I think it's going to be very good against many, many things. Anyway, we killed some stuff. We got Goblin Warrior Banner, Goblin Thief Banner, Goblin Sorcerer Banner, and Goblin Peon Banner. Because we've killed that freaking many. Right, I'm going to go back to my main world, dump off this stuff. And then uh, we'll see how we proceed from there. For now, though, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.